All right, everybody, welcome everybody. Extreme Car Breaks back submission just came in, so let's get her knocked out. See what happened. I've heard Prism and Draft are insanely hard to grade. We shall find out. Ooh, I'm trying to see how these things even open anymore. There we go. Alright, stuff like that. It's also being recorded so everybody knows. Um, don't forget. Saturday we're doing Tops Jumbo and a four box banger of uh to hex that Panini Limited. All of it's on eBay, what's left. Goes off tomorrow night, so you're more than welcome to grab some teams on eBay. Anticipating a little bit of fun. Oh, it's I see what they did. It's all we're banned. Oh. Just want to see what the first I am. Well, this will probably go on eBay. Um, everybody pretty much knows there's just a few cards I was interested into. This thing stuck on there, all right. First up, Trubisky Contenders Optic Red out of 75. 9 5 tended, 3 9 fives, 9 of corners. Harder grades on these, but to come back at 9 5 10, very happy with it. Uh, be something I hold on to the next football season, but. Uh, worked out pretty good. I found some stuff where you can put onto these cards now to help out getting out scratches. Some of them I didn't even attempt it on, but yeah, this was a quick one, Brian, just for the Lucas. I wanted to see if uh, something worked on cleaning the cards up on certain ones. Like this one here, I cleaned up as a prism. It's a Barkley autograph rookie nine five ten. I'm going to do a 20-day submission onto some stuff here shortly, probably another week or two. But that's like a month and a half turnaround. This was expensive, and you'll see why. Um, this here I found. I watched somebody put this on some cards with scratches, and uh, I didn't want to do Bowman Draft with it. I probably should have. I just did the silvers. And this is one reason why right here I should have did it. India green, 8-5 tendent. But the corners, centering on this stuff, oh man, it's hard. This will be on eBay. Auction it. Oh, you'll like some of this, Brian. You're going to be very impressed. 9-5 it. Straight gem mint. Luca. Luck of lottery prism. Very, very, very excited on that one. Uh oh, here we go. Here come the good ones. Lucas Silver, 9 5 it. Corners got me on this one with a 9. This I'll probably sell. Yeah, because you guys know I pretty much keep gem mint stuff. But it was a silver on to Luca, 9 5 it, though. Oh, straight gem mint, 9 5 Luca. These things, I think last one you sold on eBay for 6 50 but I'll read it here now on me. I was playing with the camera functions earlier. There we go. These bags away you know, I have a team bag myself. There should be one more Luca. Aiton. 9-5 with another there's one nine on centering they got me on I thought it was gonna be hairline on it But if you look a lot of people are getting gigged on surface on these that stuff really worked That's I got a couple of them meetings this one here. I didn't touch and I should have The surface somehow got me a seven on a Luca red wave 
wasn't much invested into it, but man, I, I just don't know what it was. I think it's this piece right here. If you look by his leg, it looks like there's a line. I couldn't tell if that was a printing defect or if it was on the card itself, and I think that's what it was. Another one for the bay. Nine on the red five on this one. I didn't touch it either. I thought it was good to go. And it got me on the surface somewhere. I'll have to look at it better. But it's another Luca. This will another be a one on eBay. I, I think these are selling for like 50, 60 bucks in this condition. Really couldn't remember what I saw on that that I knew wasn't coming out. This Aiton straight nine fived it. Very happy. That's the second one I got, all nine fives. My third Luca Silver. I went three for three on nine fives on silvers with Luca. If it'll read it, maybe. Here we go. All nine fives on too. So the second one I'm gonna end up keeping. Good guy. Yeah, I think he's gonna be good. Yeah, it killed me on that. Yeah, they got me on a couple. I was concentrating more on my silvers than anything when I was doing this stuff. And I was, like, really skeptical. But since I didn't have much invested in them, I was like, what the heck? Because they were Raz wins. We'll see if this stuff works. Gorman, this is just base, 9-5-10, straight 9-5s onto it all. Bowman Draft is a hard grade. I sent this in. And I took, there was a couple of weird looking marks onto this, and they came out pretty at nine. I was hoping overall, as you could see, the, the buffer kind of looking marks there onto it. But I didn't want to sell this, and somebody be like, oh, it's not going to grade good. Came back nine, five, ten, nine on surface. That's number one out of 150. So I'll probably hold on to I still got this purple. Yeah, it is, man. Darnold, I graded it. Got me on surface, and I found out... And I don't even know where it was at. There's somewhere onto this. There's right up here. There were a couple of, like, scratches. It just does not come out of prism. But it's out of 10. But just one of those things I want to grade it because, again, you sell something like this on eBay. You just don't even want to play with it. But this just basically means it's a mint card. Just didn't gem in at all. And my Luca Green got me too somewhere. I gotta figure out. The color ones, I guess, are the ones that are getting me the most right now. Nine nine on it as well. I mean these aren't they're harder to pull, but for some reason they just grade harder. I don't know. I was more happier on the silvers overall. I was just hoping for one. 9.5 silver and I end up getting three two straight gems so it wasn't too bad overall but I figured I'd give you show you guys what I did on to it and this was something I did on a five day these were like 30 bucks a card basically the whole total was like 560 with shipping but with Luca going hot I wanted to give it a shot and see if this stuff works and I did it only with the stuff on I'll show you the ones I did do the scratch thing on it was the uh lucas silvers because they had like these real little link lines in i nailed those on there so surfaces came back good eight and i did luca again that luca the barkley i did i didn't touch trubisky that was just lucky there and then like i said i didn't touch i should, probably should have did it on these i was kind of afraid because it wasn't a chrome it had color to it if it, something would happen I didn't touch Darnold, didn't touch that. This is what I was wondering about. It's real hard to see. There's like a line there going through. I figured that's what they were going to gig me on. I did do that one as well. I'll probably sell this one eventually. Another Lucas Silver that I cleaned up. Service 9.5. I didn't touch India. India just got me good. Corners and centering mostly. But overall, it wasn't too bad. Um... Especially when you, you win the cards on Razzes and stuff, you know, for a tenth, twentieth of the price. So, I can't complain. I had somebody email me, and I want to show this real quick. This is the Upper Deck Hard Court. 
We'll move these back here some. Or Supreme Hard Court from Upper Decks. So there's two boxes inside here, so we get two memorabilia. If I recall from this before, one's an auto and one's not, but I, I might be wrong. So there's two of them in there. I mean, good chance at stuff. I picked up only one box of it to try it. So if anybody's interested, that's in the store. There's a Contenders basketball break in the store. You guys can go crazy with it. We'll get more stuff in there this week, but uh, coming up week, I got Breakers Row basketball full case coming in. A lot of LeBron and Jordan autos in that thing. I think it's like 220 a box. People are interested in basketball. Try to get some stuff in there. But that was it for my massive little return. But like I said, if anybody's interested, I'm probably looking at doing a 20 day. A 20 day is 20 business days, which is pretty much a month without a federal holiday in there. And then you're looking about, I'd say another five six days onto that for uh shipping there and back if you save three day each way so you're looking 26 days which is over a month probably come close to a month and a half so if people got stuff i got a couple more silvers i want to put in there and stuff like that but i want to do a video so you guys can see and show you that tube that i picked up it basically you got to get a non-scratch cloth and I use these lens cloths and it kind of looks like that spooge or something on there but that's the actual wax and that's all it is is a wax and scratch I just put it on there and I just went real gently and then rubbed it in and out I mean can't really go wrong with something like that I saw a video and I was like uh oh. tried on some practices it looked good and I was like I was shaking on Lucas with it but again guys thanks a lot I just wanted to show it up um, a lot of that's going on eBay, minus the Luca and the Aiton. But yeah, the India, Luca Green, Darnold out of 10, Luca Red, White, and Blue, Luca Red all go on eBay as auctions. Uh, and next week. But I'll have more stuff coming in, anyhow, that I'm going to probably end up getting graded. But that was my first chance in a while with these new grades on Beckett. All right, well, I'm out. Appreciate it. I'll see you guys Saturday. Um, like I said, if you guys feel anything else up in the meantime, I'll, I'll knock it out. Yeah, hey, Brian, it's like t the 20 day, I believe, is 20 a card plus 2 an auto. So, I'll look at it and I'll send you a message on to it. Um, I gotta see what I hit this weekend, but I, I wanted to try to get out in the next week or the following week to them and try to get it back, like, somewhere mid-March. For that order the five day i'm telling you for 30 bucks a card unless you hit something big and have a ton of you want to try it's really really not in there i just threw extras in this one just to see mostly because of the lucas and him going insane right now but yeah it adds up to the luca collection I, like i said i got a ton of silvers i got a grade i do have some prism boxes behind me for basketball people are all prism I mean, my whole office now looks like crud crud because I just have boxes everywhere from supplies coming in. But set me up. Supreme Court's in the store. That's a random player break. Two box contenders basketball. I picked up two. Um, That's straight from a distributor. It's not like, you know, you went to a hobby shop and they just picked a good hit out and threw the rest on a shelf type deal. But um, it's supposed to be a Luke or Aiden per case. So we may have got, may not. That's, uh, you get two random teams for that price. Those 15 spots. Everything ships. That's it for me. I'm going to hit the record button off.